Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what we have here is um, a Matlock 6203. Now, you might not be familiar with Matlock, it's a, a brand of locks which we can get in the UK, and they make locks like this. I say they make locks like this, looking at the key, I'd hazard that Federal actually make locks like this for them, which I actually have no problem with whatsoever. I really like Federal locks. Um, this is a great lock as well. Uh, and I bought it because it's all brass. I have to admit, I didn't quite look hard enough and I didn't quite realise that this was a combination lock, but you know, that's where we're at. Now, I'd like to dedicate this video actually to a fellow lock picker, Peter Lewis, who you might know as the Irish lock picker. A brummy lock picker contacted me and a number of other lock pickers to let us know that Peter um, really wasn't well and um, when you go over to Peter's channel you'll see that he's got a video out and it explains a bit more about it and uh, yeah it, uh, Peter is having a really hard time and it's really nice of Brummy Lock Picker to contact us all to just uh, try and get some uh, lock picking YouTube videos out there to just you know uh, lift Peter's spirits a bit and um, I'd actually recorded this video maybe a day or two before I actually got Brummy Lock Picker's email uh, and I just thought that it'd be really nice to dedicate this video in particular to, to Peter and uh, pass all my, my very best wishes and um, just just because he, he's a, a fellow brass, all brass padlock affection, aficionado like myself. Um, there's a few of us out there um, and uh, yeah, it just felt to be the right video and the right time to, uh, to dedicate. So... Um, Peter, I know you're going through a really, really horrible time at the moment. Um, I feel horrible that you are. Uh, I, I guess that I hope that you get some comfort in knowing that this really is a fantastic community. Um, you know, and, and certainly the Lockpick community has helped myself and a number of other people um, through times uh, where we're going through either, you know, physical or mental hardship. So, um, yeah. Uh, this video is dedicated to you and thank you again to Brummy Lock Picker for letting us all know um, about what's going on and uh, yeah it's a great community so anyway let's let's get back to the video. Anyway I, I thought I'd have a, a, an explore of it it's not often I get a, a fully laminated combination lock to have a look at and uh, yes it's all set to um, zeros as it would be out of the packet. There we go opens up. Now the first thing that I did was think can you pull the shackle when well, it's all locked up so mix up can you pull the shackle and can you feel any difference in the dials and the answer is no. And I thought well can I depress the shackle and feel the difference in in the dials and the answer is still no. Then I thought well what if you get a little probe like this and then feel down the side for um, any gating in the wheel so I did that and the answer is still no. Then I thought, well, it can't actually be susceptible to the age-old, um, what we call the Master Lock 175 bypass. So I tried it and I, I wiggled around. I couldn't find anything in there. Then I realized that actually to open it, you need to press the top of the lock. And yep, that's definitely not three zeros. So this lock is absolutely bypassable, which was just so annoying because it's actually quite an attractive full brass lock made by uh, a company which I actually quite like um, but I suppose that it's such a common mechanism uh, that sadly it also shares the flaws amongst multiple brands including Masslock um, with their 175 but uh, also a few other brands as well so a bit of a shame there um, I, I sort of just really liked this little lock, but it's sadly incredibly easy to bypass. Well, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you all next time. 